Now let's draw this drawing and for that I will start from this line. So you can see we have a line of 230 units. So let's draw a line of 230 units. Then press enter. Then again press enter. You can see we have a circle. So we have uh, these three circles. So let's draw them. Press enter. So we have our, uh, the radius of this circle is 4. Press enter to repeat the command. Then we have this circle having a radius of 9 units. Then we have this circle having radius of 11 units. Now what I will do next is uh, you can see the distance from this midpoint to this is 7 units. So let's draw a line at mid of 7 units and press enter. And now what I will do is I will select these, so, uh, type CO, click here and then copy it here and then here and after that I will press escape. Now after that I will draw uh, uh, here a tangent tangent radius circle. So for that I will go to home and then click on this circle then click on this tangent tangent radius and then I will click on this point click on this point and you can see the radius is 200 so let's simply enter the uh, radius as 200 and then press enter. Now after that we don't need this extra part so we can just simply trim it like this. After that you can just simply press escape. Now all you need is just to simply mirror it to the other side or what you can do is you can just simply apply an offset. You can see the offset distance is 22 unit and after that you can just simply mirror it. So let me press escape and let me just simply offset it first. So let's simply type offset and you can see the unit is 22. So let's simply type 22, click here and then offset it like this. Now after that press escape. Now all you need is just to simply mirror it to that side. So you can just simply select this one, select this one and type MI. Then you can click here and then mirror it like this. Press enter. Now that we have mirrored this part, what I am going to do next is we don't need this line. So you can delete it. We don't need this line as well. You can just simply delete it from here. Now let's again draw a circle of 17 unit. Then press enter. Now you can see we have to apply a fillet of a radius 2. So let's do that, sorry, of radius 5. So let's do that. Fillet enter. R to set the radius. Radius is 5. Press enter. Then click here and then here. And then in press enter to repeat the command. Click here and then here. Now you can see here that this drawing is not exactly matching with this one. It is just because of the fact that we had taken this one as tangent tangent radius. So we have to fix this. So to fix this, you can just simply sell it, select these and then delete it from here. Select this and delete it from here. And you can just simply click on these extra part as well and delete it from here. Now again, you can type circle, click here. Then you can just simply click on tangent and its radius. Click on this point and then this point. And then after that, you can specify the radius, which is a 200. So I'm just telling you how you can fix this issue. So after that, you can just simply trim the part which is no longer required. You can just simply trim it. And now you can see that this one is looking exactly like this. Now uh, we can see we have offset of a 22 unit. So let's do that. And after that, you can see we can just simply select these mirror it click on the center and then mirror it like this press no now uh, what you can do next is you can just simply apply a fillet radius of five units so f enter then we have already set the radius so we don't need to set it again click here 
press enter and then click here so now you can see that now this one is looking exactly like this so this is how you can tackle these kinds of issue if you found these kinds of issue now let's work on this part so for that uh, first of all I'm going to draw a line here let's simply draw a line just like this press enter let you can just simply extend this one as well just like this and then press enter now you can see we have an offset of 27 unit in this direction so let's create offset of that press enter click here and then create offset now again we have an offset of 50 unit so let's do that press enter to repeat the command 50 unit so yeah guys just I have entered the uh, wrong value so you can press enter then press enter again now you can just simply enter the 50 unit click here and just simply do it like this now we don't need these two lines so you can just simply trim it and tr uh, you can just simply trim these lines and these lines as well and we don't need this line here so you can just, just select it and delete it from here now you can see we have uh, we have to rotate this line and we have to rotate this line by negative of 15 degrees so let's do that so you can simply select this type arrow click here you can specify this one as the base point and just simply set the angle which is uh, negative 15 and then press enter now this one is rotated by, rotated by 15 degree so again you can select this simply type arrow click here and then just simply set the angle which is 15 degree and then press enter now after that we have an offset of 3 unit you can see here so let's create offset of 3 unit just like this you can see uh, we have an offset of 3 unit now what I will do is uh, I will just simply uh, apply the fillet and you can see the fillet radius is 1 let me just simply press escape type R and set the radius to 1 you can just simply click on multiple and you can just simply apply the fillet radius just like this press escape now all you need is just to simply select this part and then mirror it other side so this is our final drawing